Hello, welcome back to BS Live. Uh, today I'm gonna be looking at Blender 2.8 um, Grease Pencil, and this is gonna be the first impression. Um, there will be a couple of maybe like a glitch, but uh, we'll take a look very quickly. So I just delete everything, and with Blender 2.8, I know that the Grease Pencil is actually an object. So you need to create an object first. You don't just draw. If you just draw, it's, it's become uh, some kind of a uh, uh, kind of like a not notifications, like a uh, some kind of annotations. It's really cool though. They can you can do this really quickly. <laughs> but now I don't know how to delete this. Okay, that's how you delete it. So create an object, grease pencil. You can have it blank or you can have with the monkey head let's try the monkey head first so this is the monkey head um, if you've ever find like some kind of glitching display um, something like this on a Mac uh, especially Mac OS Mojave still in beta, in beta you just turn off the viewport quality to zero so you, now you, you can see it's not glitching anymore so that's a okay. That's the grease pencil, and that's Suzanne as an object, as you can see in the in the outliner right here. And we can duplicate it. Um, so that's really cool. And you can also create your own. Let's try grease pencil, and then blank. So that's our blank grease pencil. And to enable painting, you go to object mode. Uh, select draw and you have a lot of option here let's try very very quickly so that's actually a grease pencil now go back to object mode so you can easily select the objects and then you can scale it scale it in different axes it's really cool because this thing is actually kind of 3d so you can see it's a, the 3dness um yeah it's really really cool uh, especially uh maybe we can kind of go through the this other option here like the grease pencil has modifier and also has this effect that we can try um grease pencil also has layer and material material is probably the one that's slightly a little bit uh a more complex but you can see you can, you can see with Susan head here Susan has a uh, all, all kind of different material for different parts of the grease pencil drawing and with my one I don't have I have only a single material and this is seems like just a stroke only if I ever want to paint uh, if I want to fill it maybe I, I need to enable it right here so let me try that really quickly draw ah doesn't have fill okay now it has maybe it, it was a bug but that's how you do it so you have two different material and you can easily switch it and to add fill and let's go back to object mode for now and that's a still a single object and you can perform perform a lot of cool thing like effects like of course blurring Colorize, colorize. I really like this colorize option. Okay. There's, but modifier, uh, modifier, build for example. This one's really cool. There is no timeline here. I'll create a timeline very very quickly. But that's a, that's grease pencil, build modifier. It's very very cool. You want to see how Suzanne being created? Uh, let's do that. So this is exactly how 
the artist creates his end, stroke by stroke. There's a, some kind of option there. Instance, instance also really, really interesting. Um, let's try with a single Suzanne. Okay, oh, Julie, before we try instance, let's try different color for Suzanne. Just hue saturations that's affecting um, the stroke and the fill. Very, very powerful. And I believe we can also use instancing like uh, if you have this Suzanne and then you you parent it into this guy control P and here enable duplications vertices look at that or face wow that's really powerful that slows down um, blender but uh let's get rid of it and Maybe unparent this, but uh, I think we can parent it. Pretty cool. I also noticed that we can use armature on grease pencil, but probably I can talk about that later. Go back with this Suzanne. Give it some effects, maybe like a pixelated. Pixelated effects, that's really cool. It changed. When you rotate the camera, it changes, but uh, still, cool pixelated. This guy, let's add some kind of light. Can't see the light, but uh, okay. So the torus acts some kind of light. Energy, ambience, this is actually really, really nice. It's really unusual. Save this really quick. Wow, really powerful. You can, yeah, I think you should give it a try. Like this wave, for example, also really powerful. You can add like expression, <laughs> and now it's a. Uh... Oops, actually not expression. Delete. Put it here. Playback and control it. Yeah, that's pretty really cool effect. And <clears throat> let's try one more swirl wave. Just flip color. It's okay, flip. This one also, there is like a mirror effect if you like to do the mirror. So I think that's pretty much it for Grease Pencil in a nutshell. We basically, Grease Pencil in Blender 2.8 is basically uh, an object. And as an object, you can put it in different layer and also you can have uh, different material. So layer, different material, and then you have this effects panel and then modifier panel. So not not just that. Uh, if you know Grease Pencil, of course Grease Pencil is uh, is animatable. As I forget forget to talk about. So if we we are in different frames, and we are drawing, so we have that. This is what many many people didn't know. Once they find out what Grispental can do, probably it's gonna surprise them. 
those who never use Blender. I really like the fact that this is actually 3D. I often imagine um, if we are, can we move the camera and move around or can we draw grease pencil in, in 3D? Like if we have like a, some kind of 3D motion capture, can we use that 3D data and draw grease pencil stroke in real time? as a 3D. That's gonna be insane. So Grease Pencil works with different frame of course and if you switch to animation uh, 2D animations you have oh, Grease Pencil and you have all these keyframe that you can change. I bet not many people knows that when, when they first use Blender and it whether they want to use Grease Pencil or for animations or 3D, especially 3D people probably don't know that you can use Grease Pencil like this. So let me, how to deselect? Oh, double tap A, okay. That's yeah, really powerful. I don't know how, how to express this, but uh, yeah. So that's pretty much it for this uh, quick look at Grease Pencil in Blender 2.8. This is still alpha. Can't wait until it's uh, official. 2.8 alpha 2. But this is looking pretty awesome. All right, thanks to Blender Grease Pencil developer. So there you go. Hopefully you find this useful. Let me know what you think. I'll see you next time. Bye.